Good evening, Degenerates, and welcome back to another episode of Degen Hours. Degen Hours! We are covering the NBA playoffs, playoffs! this weekend, <laughs> and we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot. Oof. A whole lot changed since the last time we got Flip. on and talked about the NBA playoffs. Yeah. We might have sniped a couple lines we that have. were the juiciest things you could yeah. possibly imagine, and I want to cover all that as well as updated finals odds and the updated series odds, because a couple of these series are getting a little dicey. It so, is getting a little dicey. Uh, without further ado, let's talk some NBA. Bang. The NBA playoffs are getting absolutely electric, like I just said. And before we get into anything, I just want to pat ourselves on the back for last week. Last week, we said... The Nuggets at plus 470 to win the series might be a bet you want to bet. Sharp yep. bet. That might, you can zero. pull that up right here from last week. They were minus 210 six days ago. They're yeah. plus almost 500. Well, yeah. I feel like it's criminal not to bet this. Yeah. And then if you could just re-bet it like the Timberwolves again, you know, if they get close to even, like, you know, minus 210, <laughs> you're free roll hedging that. You have the spread. You have both yeah. teams to win. So, I don't know. I think it's worth a sprinkle, like you said, but I think the T-Wolves end up pulling it out. And you just saw it. That was about as sharp as you can possibly doesn't get. get. You're it doesn't get better than that. Yeah. Um, it was plus 1,900, I think, as well, to win the championship. Yeah. Just quickly, patting ourselves on the back, updated finals odds. Now the Nuggets are plus 260. Look at that. To win the championship. Look at that. Look at what we do for you. <clears throat> there was plus 1,900 last week that yeah. we gave out on the pod. That's what we do. Um, they it's were, last week, like I said, plus 470 to win the series. Now they're minus 500. Wow. They just won the last two... Or three games, three games against the Nuggets, uh, or against the Timberwolves. Timberwolves yeah. Two of them in Minnesota, and the one on Tuesday night against or in uh, Denver. Denver. I want to start with that series. I mean, what a whirlwind Woo! that's been. The Timberwolves yeah. started, and everyone's Definitely like, Anthony hurt. Edwards, best player ever. They won six straight playoff games. Like they're on fire. Now they're looking at him like, what <clears> the hell's <throat> going on? I don't know, Ryan. You had a couple like. At first, we were saying, you know, Nuggets, and then you're like, oh, Timberwolves, you have them to win the championship. Yeah, it hurts. How are you feeling holding that, what was it, plus 2,000 ticket or something? Yeah, plus 2,200. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts to hold it. Um, I think they're just getting out coached, to be honest. I think Mike Malone just coached him way better because, yeah. like, Jokic is doing whatever he wants at any time. He's cooking. And the rest of the team, they've already been at championship level basketball. They just know their roles. They're yeah. not doing too much. They know to let Jokic cook. And then go crazy. And the Timberwolves are just taking it. Whoever it is. Whoever's guarding him. Nas Reid, Gobert, Towns. Take it, take it, take it. Jokic, Cook. And they just don't care. They think they can keep up with this team when they can't. They think because of the first two games they can. And that jo they were just slow to start. Yeah. I think Jokic was just a little slow. I mean, especially game two. The Nuggets were the slow. That's what I'm saying. I think they just yeah. think they can keep up with their, their team. And they just can't at all unless they change their defense on Jokic. Like, he cannot have 40, 15, and 10. Yeah. It's just ne you're never going to beat and this zero team. zero turnovers. Yeah, zero you're never, never going to beat this team. Unbelievable. It killed right. me. I hedged with the bet that we told you about last week a little bit because I was like, might as well get some a little bit back on the plus 430, but the Wolves will win the championship. just looks dead. I mean, yeah, a 1,000 yeah. odd swing, like going from plus 500 to minus 500 huh. in a week dead. is you know, series. What happens when you have the best player nuts. in the league? So Mike, <clears> what do you think? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Whoa. not Michael. That's not Mike. <laughs> Kevin, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, y'all? This is uh, Mike got fired. Sorry. This is your first time in front of the cameras. Mike, yeah, it feels a little weird. We had to we had to get weird. rid of Mike. He was being a little too, you know, bolsterous. Yes. He was he was cutting Aggressive. us off all the time. We kicked him behind the cameras. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about the series, Kevin? Yeah, with this series, I feel like it's like um. It's like the Nuggets being like the big brother and just like... Just bullying? Just bullying. Well, in like the beginning, they're like, all right, we're going to let the little brother like have a little fun. And, and then... Just smack him around. Yeah, just smack him around. Yeah, yeah literally. Him yeah. And then they just came from behind and just started clapping. So, you <laughs> know. Came from behind and yeah. started clapping. Came from behind and clapped. <laughs> nice. That's, that's, clapping. Clapping. that's Mike. Does Mike so, really leave? Or his is first, he still yeah. sitting right his there? His first sports take Throw on the, the show. Is they come came from behind and started clapping him. Yeah, I mean, I'm still... I'm kind of a psycho here. I bet the plus 470. I'm looking at the Timberwolves right now, plus 360. Jesus oh, my Christ. gosh. No, no, no. I'm just telling you. They're plus 360. Hey, you can't lose. I think they win game six. I, I think hope, they, I don't I think they lose four straight. I think they figure it out somehow win game six. And I like the odds, plus 360. I think that's way better odds than you'll get going into a game seven. Yeah, I mean, and, you, you know, Anthony Edwards you know, can get hot. So, I'm just going to lock yourself up some guaranteed sand, money. Plus 470 and plus 360 I are mean, my bets for the series. 
That's how you want to bet. Bro, NBA playoffs. He gotcha. did. He did not Should look good too? though. Last Edwards? game. Edwards. Yeah. Yeah, he looked terrible. Yeah, no, that was terrible. The whole team just. Looked he shot five yeah. for fifteen. I think. There's like no yeah. offense. This was. This should have been a steal game for the Wolves if you think. Oh, for sure. They were in the game for a lot of the game with. Anthony Edwards being one for nine, Cat being banged up, Rudy Gobert looking terrible. The rest of their team should. Yeah, Cat like was hobbling around. <clears throat> so I'm saying, I don't know. It's a weird. Too soft we'll for that. <laughs> Very weird game. He's just a little. Tate, is there any shot you're touching the Timberwolves here, or the Nuggets just gonna walk away with this? No, no. There's no reason to. I mean, especially if I if I had that plus four eighty pick, actually as a ticket, like I know you guys hit, bet it, I didn't bet it. I would, I would maybe be, you know. No, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I may be, uh, no, f- that, no, no chance. No. That's a luxury. <laughs> All right, so you're on Timber, or you're going Nuggets no matter what. You yeah. already have your Timberwolves it, ticket. I mean, people start, people start to say Anthony Edwards is the best player in the NBA. No. People love Nikola Jokic is still the best player in the NBA. And soon. the best guard is still Luka. Mario, how are we feeling? Um, it's interesting. I, I really, Ryan stole the, the words out of my mouth. I think it's just coming down to coaching. Mm. I think... Some simple adjustments could have made this past game on Tuesday uh, at least way more competitive. Once it got outside like eight, nine points, the Nuggets really never looked back. Yeah. Um, it's the playoffs. Like, you're trying to win a championship. Like, you don't need to put a 22-year-old on a minutes restriction. Like, not that Anthony Edwards is, but like, he like doesn't. He doesn't need to come off the court for five minutes at a time. Yeah. Like, he he's 20. Play, like, he can play 46 minutes. J- Josh Hart. Played three straight games without coming out. No, yeah. Josh Hart's also <laughs> maybe the hardest worker in the NBA. But and I'm not saying you he has to do that, Give but it's two like minutes, three minutes these are do or die games. Like that's a huge yeah. game. Like a three two. Like if the Nuggets go up a game, like that's huge for the series. Yeah. So I don't know that, and also I just think Gobert is just a waste of space on the floor. Uh, I think, <laughs> like, I know he provides that rim protection, and maybe like late in games if it's close, like you want him when you're just focusing on defense. But yeah. like if you're trying to like, he's ex- a second leading scorer for the. Which is how you know they're going to lose. Yeah. If he's Which the second leading scorer, they lose by double digits. That's true. 100% chance. I just love... I, I like when they have, like, Nas Reed, Cat, Because Cat is... He's a seven-footer. He's a big can, body. He's a big body. Like, he, yeah. like, you're never going to stop Jokic. But, like, just have someone there just to, like, you know, bang with him down low, as Chuck would say. <laughs> <laughs> just bang with him. Yeah, yeah, bang just with bang him. with him. Yeah. Um, but just have someone there just to kind of make it tough for him. And you don't need an extra seven-footer who's just can only, like, sometimes get a rebound. But, like, Aaron Gordon's out-rebounding him, out-working yeah, him. Give Nas Reed, that's fine. Th- that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Nas Reed is, like, 6'10", six, 6'11", six, with guard skills. Like, at least stretch yeah. the floor. Like, and I agree. You're, you can't be taking Ant off the court for that long. No. If you expect to win. It's just coaching. You, you can't They're be getting whooped it's, it's really just coaching. That's a superstar. And long minutes with Kyle Anderson and Monte Morris. There's, was, a, like, there's a reason yeah. the Nuggets haven't lost a playoff series in quite some time. Yeah. There's a, there's a very yeah. good reason. And they're kind of showing you why. I mean, these... Championship odds are some of the craziest swings I've seen yeah. in a week. Plus nineteen hundred literally means the books wrote them off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you're done. Yeah. Like if it, if the books even thought like you know it was a reasonable chance, they would put them like plus eight hundred mm-hmm. or something. Even juice going from plus nineteen hundred to plus two sixty is wild. That, I mean, that's, that's I don't know if I've of. seen Did, a swing like you, that. Do you guys know what happened to Mike Conley? I feel like he that, was out. He was out this. Game. No, I know, but like, do you know what, if he's going to be out the next game? That's oh. huge. That is he big. comes in and Anthony Edwards gets that break. He could still score. He's a vet. He knows how to play in the playoff game. Yeah, they like, looked pretty lost slow at guard play. Oh my god, with fair. Monte Morris and An- uh, well, Alexander. The, was... Yeah, Nikhil Walker Alexander, whatever. Yeah. I mean, he like we he watched. was wide open for threes. He was hitting the front rim. I think me and Ryan counted like three or four straight possessions, yeah, possessions where he yeah. shot the ball, which is not they the were guy down you want. two, and then they were down eleven after that. Yeah, <laughs> and he just front rim, front rim, front rim, and it's like at least Mike Conley like. He's a vet. Like he's probably gonna hit at least one of those like wide open. And he slows the game he's down. A three he point shooter, so. Yeah. yeah. Apparently he just landed on it wrong last game a little bit, so he's got a bad Achilles. Oh, God. So he'll play, he'll he's, play game six. He's yeah, also he old as shit. Be, yeah, he should yeah. Be yeah. Uh going to a series that's not quite as heavily contested. I mean, at first, you know, the Cavs Celtics series when the Cavs won, everyone was like, wait a minute, maybe you know, there's something here. Mm-hmm. There's not. Um the odds for <clears> the Celtics <throat> to win this series are minus one hundred thousand. How about Sprinkle? $100,000 bet? Minus $100,000. 100000 bet? To win $100. 300 bucks. Cavs are plus $8,000. Yeah, I'm going to burn some more money on quite a, Quite a bit of a spread <laughs> there. Uh, obviously, you know, Donovan Mitchell didn't play the last game. I don't think there's much to talk about here. No one's going to mm. pick the Cavs. But the championship odds are kind of interesting. Celtics are minus 135. The field is now plus money. Totally. So the field is plus one. We took that plus money when we told you to. It was the Celtics was plus 100 and the field was minus 130. Now the field, you're getting plus money for every other team. Combined. I love that. So I love that. We, 
just looking at it right now, I mean, we're going to talk, you know, best bet for the finals in a little bit, but is anyone just like bet the Celtics minus money right now? No. I mean, I feel like we said that last week. So. Yeah, yeah if you, you don't my, bet it now. I have it last week. My True. stance hasn't changed. Okay. I well, still think the winner of the Denver-Minnesota series is probably going to be really? my pick. Minnesota looking I a little sketchier. I think the Nuggets sketchier. are way better. I, I think they should have bad two games. They, they would beat the Celtics. Other, all the other teams, I'm like, they just don't look... Well, yeah, as Deep. far as, as – let's just go to the other teams in the East like you're talking about it. Um, the Knicks and the Pacers. Oh, I love I this. mean, the Knicks absolutely destroyed the Pacers in After Game 5. the Pacers yeah. destroyed them in Game 5. Yeah, it's going back and forth. I love this. Um, the current odds, minus 265 for the Knicks. Pacers are mu- – or plus 210. Tate, I know this doesn't matter in the scheme of things because the winner plays the Celtics, but from a betting perspective, is there value in betting this Pacers plus 210 going back, you know, to their spot? No. Well, I mean – I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to actually like say is there value. Like I, I mean, I guess you know, no. <laughs> Again, back to that. Like I love these answers. Yeah, no. I, I mean, the I'm pump's been going over here. Yeah, I'm over here right. waiting for it. Tate's thinking on the fly. He's yeah. just like, uh, maybe I could. No. Nah. Like, go, like going back to Indianapolis. Like, yeah, they could. They could win that game, but no, no, because because they're just gonna end up going back to MSG and they're just gonna get their butts kicked because. The Knicks are a much better team. Ryan, you feel the same? No, I love the Pacers here. I think the Pacers win by 20 next game and then have a Halliburton weird 40 point game. Like can, he plays. Can all you tell right. him to shoot more than nine shots, please? No, yeah, last game. No, just give him a ring. Game, game. Give him a ring. But I'm saying, la- I will. Five I will, for nine from the field. I will. I'll tell him to play like the plan turn. Right, you're, you're supposed to be a starter in the All Star game. No, all no, pro. No. But I five think for nine from the field. They're going to win by 20 this <clears> next <throat> game because they're going to be at home and then just guard Brunson, slow him down. The rest of the team is mid as. Yeah, I've never seen. An actual superstar like this. I know he got injured earlier in the season, like midway after the playing tournament, but I've never seen a superstar on the team. Like their go to guy shoot nine shots, but this isn't also a new thing. He shot one shot in the second half of like game three or something. Yeah, yeah. Game game two two. Ever since yeah. his injury, like, he just has been weird. But he's not even, he's five for nine. It's pretty efficient. It's yeah. above 50% from the field, but he's not taking any shots. Yeah. He's not getting 19 assists either. Like, you know, some in the regular season could be like, oh, 15 and you had 22 assists. He's not doing that. So, yeah, I think the Knicks just walk away in Game Six because mm-hmm. it feels like to me the Pacers don't have an identity. Like your superstar, every game it but changes. That's how sh- it looked like the first two games of the series. True, and Pacers, and then all of a sudden twice. it was like a completely different team at home. Yeah, maybe. I think just every team wins at home. Knicks win in seven. Ooh. Knicks in seven. Kevin, how do you yeah. feel? Uh, I, th- I just think the Knicks are just way too strong. Like no one's gonna stop Jalen Brunson. This is your home team, Indiana Pacers yeah. from Indiana. Yeah, the pride Big of Indiana. Indiana guy. They're trash. They're, I wouldn't say they're trash. Say they're they're trash. Tyrese Halliburton, he's an all star. He should be like demanding that ball, and he's nine shots is like ridiculous, it's disgustingly bad. Yeah, it's terrible. Like 20 no one, no one else is scoring for that team. No, like Miles Turner, like Siakam. Yeah, good. Pascal Siakam. Yeah, it is. Or cr- I, <laughs> It is crazy how the Knicks are just pulling out these games. I mean, Jalen Brunson is playing out of his, out of mind. his mind. Like for like. What is best it? Six, guard, best guard in the East? Six two, at at most. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why they don't just pick him up at full court and make him just dead. I mean, this this They're Knicks team, if they were healthy, might actually be kind of scary. But oh, like, like with Randall, with like Randall and uh, yeah, and Mitchell, what's his name? Robin Mitchell, Robinson. Robinson. And they're still they're without um like I mean OG and Anubi. Yeah, OG. and and OG too. Like they got some players, but I mean they're shooting out of their minds. I don't. Yeah, pa- OG, part Jaylen of me also is like them. it would be interesting to see them in a game seven because like. We did see them kind of like crumble in games three and four on the yeah. road because like DiVincenzo, is that how you say it? Yeah. Like wasn't shooting, you know, 80% yeah. from three or whatever. So Yeah, yeah he's been balling. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, they're getting, they're maximizing the most out of their players, but it just seems like regardless, whoever wins the series is going to get okay. irrelevant. Yeah. Cooked irrelevant. By, the Celtics. Irrelevant. by the Celtics. Yeah, yeah. and last series to talk about, um, yeah, probably the most interesting good. series right now yeah. is this. Thunder and Maverick series. I mean, this thing has gone, been going back and forth to the T. Yeah. yeah. Every single game. Um, Luca with the big miss free throws last game. Oh, wow. my gosh. I mean, bad. he was pissed at himself. Yeah, he, Did I, you I, see I, yeah. the Mavericks as a team shot 50% from That the was line. awful. Yeah. So as a team. It was terrible. Watching, no, watching the fourth quarter was like agonizingly horrible. It was amazing. They, could, they, awesome. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, it was. I mean, <laughs> if you don't worry. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Thunder fan, so it was awesome. But it was it was terrible for them. 
oh my god, they could not make a free throw. It was yeah, terrible. Yeah, those free throws are big. That was that was rough. And it Luka and the worst part about it is it proved to be so pivotal. Yeah, I mean, oh, I mean which yeah. is just awful. Like you could quite literally just break it down to missing free throws. Dude, if Thunder yeah. win this next game somehow, like somehow pull it out and they just go to game six, I don't know if it's gonna be <clears> crazy. I think it's going seven no matter what. Uh, yeah. That's that's how I'm seeing it. Initially on the pod, our first time we talked about it, I said Mavs in six after. Uh, I thought I said Mavs in five. But I rewatched the pod. I said Mavs in six. Um, after the Thunder won game one, I still think it's Mavs in six. I still think they find a way to win on the road and then just go home and take care of business. Mm-hmm. But I agree with you. If the Thunder win this next game, I mean, winning six and seven, I feel like is a lot more yeah. crazy than winning five and six. Yeah. yeah, Six and seven is real high stakes, especially when you're going on the road game seven, uh, OKC to get to the Western Conference Finals. I mean, yeah. That city, that stadium's always crazy. It's yeah, I, don't, I was gonna say I don't, I don't know. After so now going back to <clears throat> OKC, after playing in Dallas and just losing in Dallas, it's gonna be hard for that team, especially Luca, kind of feeling it a little bit, to get up and play. Like the the Thunder have all the momentum. Like I, I would not. They I, have been trading games though. Yeah, but it was like, like, but one, like, okay, so one, so, here, one, and then so like, here's what I have to say. I think that the Thunder's gonna win Game Five. If the Thunder win Game Five and you think that the you still like the Mavericks, then wait till they win Game Five and bet the Mavericks for the series. Yeah, I mean, because I they could the go Mavericks. home and easily win, and then be and then when they win, when the Mavericks win at home, they've got the momentum going into the game. But the Thunder will be they'll have the home field advantage. So yeah. it'll be a little closer of a matchup. Yeah, right, I like the Game Seven, but right now you're getting um, minus one fifty on the Thunder, plus one twenty on the Mavs. Okay. There's also something about it's also switched every game, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's going with swapping the last yeah. team to yeah. win. Yeah. There's something about also the Mavericks. Like Kyrie had nine last game, like he had nine points. Yeah, he's like, like when four Thunder four. Lose, happen again. When th- I'm saying when Thunder lose, Chet still gets his 15, 16. Shy gets his twenty eight. The other players do well and they just lose. Something about like the Mavericks, like. Like, I know Luka's hurt, but, like, having 16 and then Kyrie has nine one game and then P.J. Washington's your leading scorer for three straight games. It was weird Like, it's game. really weird. They all – it felt like everyone on the Mavericks played bad because Luka was hobbled. He was hurt yeah. the game. Kyrie did not have a good game. Luka had two free throws to tie the game with 10 seconds left. That, that was yeah. crazy. You had two free throws. I mean, that's crazy. And they played bad. No yeah. excuse for that. Yeah. Like, so, I don't know. <clears throat> I still think this Mavericks team is a better I think, team. They have better yeah. stars. They are a yeah. better they're, team. They're definitely a better team, yeah. And so, I still disagree with that. Well, one. you're a big Thunder guy. Yeah. Not a big Thunder guy. I just think they got they got the one seed for a reason, and they're very talented. The stars, I agree with. If it cut, Like, fourth quarter comes down to it, and it, you told me it was a tie game with three minutes left, I will pick Mavericks every day of the week. But as a whole, I just think Thunder are deeper, too. Well, the Thunder... Well, they yeah. are deeper. I mean, well, yeah, the Mavs have a bunch of injuries, it's but... Just, I think it's the chemistry, too. Like, the Thunder just play well together. They do play really well together. Yeah, they really like yeah. each other. Yeah, they do. And, and they're young. And they're and not... They're and a lot of those... Almost, those much, young... almost as much as Josh Giddy likes teenagers. He really does. Well, he's kind of forced. Yeah, 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 really sorry. Was. I was thinking about the Thunder. Strike. 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 Cameraman says strike. Strike. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of those lot of those young guys on the team, you know, like Kaysan Wallace. Isaiah Joe. Yeah, Isaiah Joe, who's the... Aaron Wiggins, like yeah, yeah. they're not afraid to you shoot. You could just be naming names, and I wouldn't, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know the difference. You just named a bunch of no, 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 uh, no, but that's Aaron the cool, Wiggins. That's, <laughs> the cool, that's the cool <laughs> no, thing about yeah. that team. That, the, is they're the not that afraid they're, to shoot, I, I, and they do. Them, they yeah. do the shoot, and they play well. Seed with that team, yeah, is crazy, right? They're, you're telling me their second best player. I don't think. Also, Jalen Williams. All I want to throw out there is like. The one seed wasn't a walk away one seed. They had the exact same record. It came down to a division tie. I'm saying, but the between Thunder them and the won the one seed. No, I know. Yeah, they no one, no one saw that coming. But it wasn't like they had. A, they didn't have a better record than the Nuggets. I feel you know what I mean. It's the I same know, record. But I'm saying that's impressive. It was. It was it's impressive. more impressive that they. Yeah. It was impressive. Yeah. No, I agree. And so as far as you know, title odds. Now that we went through all the series. If you're looking at these updated title odds, I'll just read them out. Celtics plus one thirty five, Nuggets plus two sixty, Thunder plus eight hundred. Celtics are plus. No, they're minus. I said minus 135. Oh, I don't know oh, if I said plus. Uh, minus 135. Nuggets plus 260. Thunder plus 800. Mavs plus 1500. Timberwolves now plus 1700. Jesus. Knicks plus 2100. And they do not show the odds for the Pacers or the Cavaliers for good reason. Um, Pacers is wild. No, I mean, I could pull them up. 8500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah 100,000 for the Cavs plus yeah. 100,000. $100 bet gives you $100,000 <laughs> on the Cavaliers. That's awesome. And Pacers. Um, Who's the everyone picking? I'm just gonna go around the table and uh, start with Mario. Um, yeah, I mean, if I had to give out one bet, it would be the Nuggets. Yeah, currently, at I think odds. I think Nuggets plus two sixty. I mean, if you're getting them plus money, I think they look like the best team. 
Um, but like I said last week, when uh, when the Nuggets were down 2-0 and they were plus 1,900, I think the winner of this series, regardless, I'm standing by, is going to win the championship. Mm -hmm. So Timberwolves there, plus 1,700. If you like the Timberwolves to somehow win out this series, yeah, I think you get a lot of value. On I that. mean, imagine if you're you, you know, sitting in last <laughs> week, you're betting Nuggets plus 1,900. And then you're you this week, and you're betting the Timberwolves plus 1,700, and you think the winner of this series goes on to win. Yeah. You're well, getting almost like, 20 to 1 <laughs> yeah. on a free roll. Like, that, that's yeah. just money. I mean, you're printing. You're just playing the game. It's beautiful. Kevin, what are we looking at? I'm on the same wavelength as Mario. It's the Nuggets. Um, there's I hate the Celtics. I'm a Lakers fan, so there's no Facts. point. Same. So I just don't think anybody could guard Jokic. That guy is unstoppable. Literally, he had Rudy Gobert on him. Defensive oh, he's player. Been, I mean, he's been cooking Rudy. Yeah, he's been, dropped forty. Four time defensive player. Of the yeah, year. yeah, dropped forty on him with ease, and he's playing in slow mo. So, yeah, you give me the Nuggets at plus two sixty. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm liking a couple of these now. I'm liking the Mavericks at plus fifteen hundred and the Timberwolves at plus seventeen hundred. Um, Those are not bad. Just for the same reason, I think the Mavericks win the series, like I said. Mm -hmm. And Luca's my favorite player, and I've. I think I've given out the Mavericks in like every podcast yeah, plus, think, yeah. plus a bunch of money. Um, and then the Timberwolves, I don't remember what they were last week, but it was like plus like 350 or 400 or something. Yeah. And it feels like the same situation as the Nuggets were the week like, last week. It feels yeah. like the exact same thing. Yeah. It, Nuggets at plus 1900 feels the same as betting the Timberwolves. They're just riding the Timberwolves well, off. Now. Yeah. I think the cool thing is, though, too, is there is a blueprint for the the Wolves to actually win the series. Like, it's not. I mean, they go, they're they going they're, home for game six. Yeah. And might be a bad thing. Well, so, whatever it is, they're <laughs> gonna be a home game. They'll be probably favorites or pick them, whatever. I don't know. I haven't seen the odds One for Game Six, but um, and then you just go to a Game Seven. It, we could see yeah. an Anthony Edwards, you know, eruption. Yeah, no, yeah. Obviously, they'll have to deal with Jokic somehow. If he does what he did this game, you know, forty points, they thirteen, re thirteen assists, seven rebounds, zero turnovers. They need to unleash Jaden McDaniels. Perfect game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they, they got KD, but we got, we got Jaden McDaniels. Yes, yeah, best quote of this playoffs. Seen. But yeah, I'm I'm liking those two at plus fifteen hundred, plus seventeen fifty or seventeen hundred. This is tough. I don't know how to get off this. Like last week, we talked about it. I just think like the, the it might not look good because the Celtics are minus one thirty five, but like. They're in the finals. I can't really describe it. They're already in the finals, yeah. and you don't have to sweat out these Game 7s yeah. that prob we think are going to happen in yeah. both the Western Conference final games. And yeah. then when they play each other after they both win, even if you play... Like Mavericks are a tough beat. I think Thunder personally are a tough beat. And then the opposite side, the Nuggets are the best team left on that side, if maybe people think in the whole tournament. And then the Timberwolves, who people think, like you, are going to make it to the... Like, it's a tough road just to get to the finals for them. Out of the You're West, You're getting yeah. the minus 135, which, again, you don't get the... They're already sitting... You're already <coughs> yeah. in the finals, the finals getting... It's like a buy. Yeah. It's yeah. Like in, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're already getting minus 135 to be in the spot that all these guys have to work to get to. Yeah. I understand the Nuggets. They're defending championships. They have the best player in the world, if you want the plus 260. But value for a better, I just don't see how it's not the Celtics. You're almost locking yourself in to having a game one at home. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. you, and and you, also, you also bet them last week at plus 100. That's what I'm saying. I, just, yeah. I still see. I still like the value here where it's like, you're getting game one at home in the NBA Finals, pretty much. Yeah. There's a 95% chance. Yeah. So all these other teams, that, it's like coin flips. And that minus 135 could be the line for game one. And the yeah. home. <laughs> true. Yeah. And I think the home court advantage is significant. Well, in, huge. In the yeah, oh, that's why I said. Sure. You're getting sure. game yeah. one yeah. at home, which is great. Yeah, tape. Yeah, honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Like, it is quite literally the value, and we did say it last week that you might as well just bet them at even money because they're already in the finals. So yeah, Celtics are just like that kind of that easy bet. But shout out to Thunder plus seven fifty, holding it home plus eight hundred, baby. Eight hundred, uh, eight hundred, even better. There you Probably go, even better. Take it. But oh. yeah, there you have it. I mean, uh, it's getting out on the wire here at the second round. By the time we talk next week, we'll, we should be getting into those third round matchups, which will be fun to talk about yeah. um, the conference finals. And so, enjoy the weekend of NBA. I mean, it's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun I'm weekend. Ready, we baby. could see a couple game sevens, which will be electric for sure. Tate, before the people log off and go watch some basketball this weekend, tell them what they should go ahead and do. Boys, we absolutely sniped some sharp lines last week. This the is why you watch come. the pod. We had some great takes on the pod this week. Go ahead, give us a like, give us a comment, support the channel, share with a friend, subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. We'll Woo! see you next week. Go Wolves, baby. Weddy. Deuces.